Hello, everybody. Hi. This is going to be a live video chat show for arts and crafts for adults because we um, have to be for adults because we use sharp things like scissors and needles and heat guns and hot glue guns and dangerous electrical items. So we have to say that. And we're also a chat room where we interact with the chat room all night long. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do. We're going to enter, entertain in the chat room. Let me see if I can get my chat room up here. How to get to it. And get my channel. And put my account. And see if I can see who's in get the chat channel. room. Hi, everybody. Uh, Hi. Candy's here. Uh, Hi, Candy. <laughs> Sorry about the dogs. That's just Joe. He'll be coming in. So, um, I'm going to have company tonight as soon as she gets here. And I hope she gets here. And when she does, we're going to paint something. We're going to paint this guy. <laughs> you love dogs? Good. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> How do you do? Oh my goodness my siri just came on i said she well, she nice sherry not siri goodbye <laughs> goodbye so long <laughs> have you ever done that have you ever done that and and uh yeah siri siri the that you know that Secretary comes on sometimes. Mm -hmm. She just hanging around. Hi, Belinda. Hello. Is Dana and Becca still on? I just left there about a half hour ago. And they were still selling. So, uh, hello, Cheryl. How do you do? So, anyway... Um, I was going to, I need to get some more paper for this back part, but I don't need it today. I can still do, I can still do one up here. So I'm kind of waiting on, on Sharon to come over and she's going to help me paint. And, um, I think I'll get my, my phone out. Hi, Marty. Hi, everybody coming in. How you doing? Did anybody go over and see Dana's sale? She's having a sale. She's going to do it again. Uh, she's winding up for the, e for the evening, but she was still selling when I left. And uh, because they've been on since noon, and I'm sure she's wore out. So, uh, but she's going to be on again Sunday at noon. So, you, so uh, I highly recommend you all go over and, and watch her and support her. Even if you don't buy anything, just go over and support her. <laughs> and I'm going to go over here. Oh, no, no, no. I know where to go. I'm going to go over here. And I have some pictures over here. I thought I did. Maybe they're at this end. Let's go the other direction. Oh, I don't see them. Where'd they go? There's one. So let's paint this little fella. Let's paint this guy. Maybe we should paint him on the front since this is our new owl book. This is going to be our owl book. It's a hooting, hooting owl. So I'm going to get a pen and I'm thinking I might use some Sharpies. And see what I got over here in the in the Sharpie department. There's a brown one there. So I'm going to try to make this feller. Mm 
Okay. And we're going to give him two big old eyes. So, hi, Pixie. Hi, Margaret. How do you do? How do you do? Sharon, are you coming in? Did I send it to you? I messaged you a link. If you want to, we can paint our Gnome. And then there's a beak right here. And then he's got two rings in his eyes. I will put that one in. And that one in. So, uh, hi everybody. Everybody saying hello to everybody. Brave ladies and Mar you got that right, Marty. I'm brave. <laughs> I'm brave. I hope it's not upside down. <laughs> nope, it's not. And of course, it's it's not. It should be a law. It there should be a law that you should have at least one upside down page in your art book in any of your art journals. I think. I think there should be a law that of that. He's not too fat. He's kind of he's kind of trimmed down a little bit. And I don't know how to do this part, but I want to do something like this. And then like this and then we're going to make his feet his feet are they feet so uh, <laughs> uh let it be written let it be said thank you sin candy <laughs> amen <laughs> well you know i I'm just saying, you know, I've been doing this for five years. Can you all believe it? Uh, streaming with you guys for five years. And then I was doing things before that, too. So there's just two two little toes on on this side of the foot. And I guess there's a third one on the back of the the perch, whatever he's sitting on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Have you ever seen the eagles uh, after they hatch? Their feet are so huge. <laughs> their feet, their feet must grow a hundred times faster than their bodies. But they get, they get, uh, their feet are huge when they're babies. So anyway, I got two of his feet there. And then we're going to just do a, now my pen's starting, not wanting to run. What's up with that? It's probably I'm not supposed to do that, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I might have to go over all of this with uh, some paper or something to make his uh, feathers and all that jazz. I could do 3D feathers. It, I would have to have tossed it and start over or cover it up on that. <laughs> well, he's, you know what? You see, I think this shoulder should be a little bit bigger. And look what I did. I made him a little bit fatter and he looks great. Cheryl says, get a new marker. I am not going to do it because it's working. It's working. So, 
Let's see what we can do. I'm not going to give up yet. And this owl doesn't look like, he looks like a juvenile to me. I saw a hawk. I don't know that I took a picture of it. Or not. Oh, I think I did take a picture of it in uh, on the fence in my yard uh, the other day. And I swear he turned his head all the way around. He turned it all the way around. He, they can must do a, a turn and a half. They must be able to twist their necks. It was it was wild. Let's see if I can find him. I'm pretty sure I took a picture of it. But I don't see it. Maybe it was on Joe's phone. I don't see it. But it was a, a falcon of some sort. It was, it was. Some kind of a falcon. So here we go here. So, um... I'm trying to come in. Give me a second. Okay. Sharon's going to come in and we're going to paint a gnome. So I'm just going to finish working on this little fella. He's wise, you know. He's got, he's a wise guy. He's a wise guy. It's working good now. Must have had a little hiccup. So I'm going to give him some feathers over here. I'm just making it up. I don't think you can go too awfully wrong with them. And if all else fails, I'll just paint over top of them. Hi, Donna. Okay. You're behind on treatment documentation. Have to catch the owl replay. Okay. Okay. You've got to do some paperwork. I know what she's doing. School. It's schoolwork. Okay, Donna. Uh, that's okay. Got to... Fill out those cards. You know what would also look good? Is some um, like gold feathers. Some of the gold in the feathers. And then we're going to just do something like this. On the chest. I think that looks pretty good too. Get a little bit more feathers in here. I hope he turns out real cute because he's on the front of the book. <laughs> yes. Um, um, Marty, um, I would also like to take just a few moments in silence um, to remember Alicia. She passed away day, yesterday or day before, the past couple days. She passed away unexpectedly. She was sick. Uh, she was in the hospital, and um, they, they took her to ICU. She had a code, and uh, she lost... Uh, she lost uh, consciousness and was in a coma and passed away. Uh, so we, I want to encourage each and every one of you to please send a card 
uh, to the family of Alicia at her address in our address file. I want each and every one of you to mail a card. She lived with her son, so her son will receive all of the cards. And I think it's very, very important that we shower him with as many cards as we can possibly get out there to show him how much she was loved in our arting community. She was very giving and she was always involved and she was always happy and, uh, and play. She, you know, there was just nothing bad about her at all. So, um, yeah, I, I see. I just talked to her just a few days ago too in the email and, uh, we were chit chatting about something and, um, you know, so I also have it, a little conversation with her on my messenger. So, uh, so, uh, let's just, uh, take a moment in silence and, um, remember her and send, uh, please, uh, I'm, in, I'm asking you each to mail a card to her son in care of, just put through the family of, in, uh, to the family of Alicia Mott, and he will get the card at the address. So let's just do that. I know Sharon's here now. Sharon, we're going to take a moment of silence, please. Uh, can you hear me, Sharon? I can. Can you hear me? Okay. We're taking a moment of silence for the death of uh, Alicia Mott. All right, thank you. Um, Marty, if you message me, um, I will give you her address. Uh, if you're not in the uh, uh, in my Facebook group, I think you're in my Facebook group. It's at the top of the page of the Facebook group. Vanessa says, I will be doing a live dedicated to her tonight. If anyone would like to come and say some kind words about her uh, life and is welcome to come. Thank you, Vanessa. That's very kind. That's very kind. Thank you for doing that. Um, in my Facebook group, uh, let's see here. Uh, at the very top of the group is, is an address file. And if you're a member of my group, you can get into that address file. If you cannot get into that group, uh, then message me and I will give it to you after the show tonight. What time, Vanessa? 8 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Yes, she was very good artist. And she sent me, she has sent me so many things and happy mail and I just, you know, um, I'm kind of at lost for the suddenness of it. So, uh, but I will be glad to, if somebody can't get to that address file, I will be glad to give it to you. Just give me a message and I will message you her, her address. But please, everybody send a card in care of her and um, so we can show her son how much she, how many, how many people she's touched. Yeah. Okay. Sharon is on 
on my on the good side over here she's up and <laughs> coming over here and we're going to paint okay, Beth, can you even hear me yeah i can hear you okay um of course you'll have to speak real loud to over overpower my voice <laughs> to cut in because i'm good about talking too much but, okay uh, well, i'm just gonna hang out with you i know while you're doing your owl oh well no, i'm going to get my uh my gnome i got my gnome we got gnomes uh can you turn your camera upside down so that your name your gnome is the same direction as mine okay wait a minute. okay turn it around or roll it around or something twist it <laughs> twist it sister twisted sister okay wait okay like so, that there we go much better yes yes and um so we've got sharon was nice enough to mail me this guy here and i got a great big old box yesterday was it yesterday or this morning i can't remember my days and nights are mixed up but mm -hmm. i got it and i think it was today so it was perfect for her to come on with me so we can paint this together <laughs> good job so um let me uh put that away there there's another one here this is crazy so uh we can paint the, the thing and I think what I'm also going to do while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start our prayer journal. And uh, then I can roll for our prizes tonight, our prize winners. Because that's that's important, too. <coughs> yeah. We want we to. You can keep... put me in the background while you're doing that. So oh, no. Can... I'm just writing down names. You don't need to be in the background. No, no, no. This is just names. Okay. Oh, uh, can I show something? Absolutely. While you're writing names, show it. Show um, them. When you when we were over um, at Dana's, there was somebody said, "Do you do art?" And maybe everybody doesn't know, but I do do art. But I just, I mean, I'm just in my room alone here, just messing around. But um, like this is, ooh, I haven't finished this yet. <laughs> But like this is, I mean, like this is something that I just did uh, in my journal, and I just do, um, I just do pages. I just find all kinds of little scrappy things, and um, I don't know if you can even see it that well. But how about that? Um, Go slow because there is just a little bit of a lag. So take your time. And I'm I'm gonna let everybody see you. Oh, okay. These were some things I did. Um, uh, what is? Oh, you guys are terrible. Anyway, I've been trying to learn how to do faces. So this was like some Jane Davenport stuff I did. Thank you. And oh, she's pretty. This was the Janet. That's Janet Merle. You do good so eyes. Right. Look at those eyes. And the nose and the lips. Ooh. Oh, we are lagging a lot. Very nice. And then um, here was a couple of pages I did this week. Just, um, just grabbing stuff up. <laughs> so, um, that one, did I do another one? Maybe. I don't know if y'all saw that one. I think you did. But, so, I kind of just do stuff hanging out. Um, I did these because I was watching. I was watching a lady on YouTube, and I feel bad because I don't remember her name. <laughs> but she was doing these tea bag, um, 
tea bag things, and these are all tea bags. But um, let me see if I can find the ones that I actually did. Yeah, here, let me just open that right now. <laughs> I showed him the bath yesterday, so. That's, I love that. Uh, I love this. Oh, yeah. And I did this. Um, let me get the stencil off here. Since I'm not, I don't think I can find the ones I did with the tea bags. But this is something I covered. It was just one of those plastic, um, I don't know, plastic journal uh, or plastic notebook things like that. Right. A three three ring binder. That's the thing. That's the doohickey right there. <laughs> and so um, I covered it with all this kind of stuff here. And then um, that's the inside of the cover. And then, wait a minute, and then that's the back side of the cover. And then um, what I did was I just started putting in some of my uh, stuff that I just didn't want to get, you know, too messed up. Uh, like this was one of my favorite cards I made, so I kept it. This was a jelly print that I started outlining. So I'll probably end up using that. Um, this was another color page I found. Um, I find a lot of free uh, color pages on Facebook. Yeah. So, um, when I'm in between, I just do all that. Um, hi, Jazzy Cheryl. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I'm not used to looking at chat and kind of doing stuff. But then you guys have seen all these. These were just uh, jelly prints that I started doodling on to um, get them ready. That's a great way to start out a background. Right. So um, I just I started putting them in here because I can't even imagine making like 500 jelly prints. So I just make two or three at a time keep my favorite ones and use the other ones for the roll off on the back. Hi, Belinda. So these I haven't done too much. I haven't done anything like that. But anyway, so just some of that kind of stuff there. Oh, here was something I painted. Um, I've been trying to do some more, uh, um, some more acrylic painting so that's that and uh so i watch a lot of other people painting and i think that you know i could be van gogh I haven't taken my ear off yet but you know <laughs> this was another print that i started working that's on good. i like that So, um, let's see what else have I been hanging out doing? Just, I just been making like this card, I've been making cards. So, and I really wish I could find the, uh, oh, here's the thing I did with glue. I was watching this lady and she used her glue gun. Oh, that's good. That's cool. Yeah, and so she puts down the glue, and then she puts an. I put a napkin over mine. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I love well, the. Or she painted paper. the background. Then she put down the glue. Then she put down some kind of paper, any kind of paper you want. I just found this napkin that kind of matched the green. Everybody's liking all your works, all your papers, and your books. Thank you all so much. They're, not, they're loving it, Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> and but then she just um, after she did that, um, 
she took and kind of highlighted it with gold. Yeah. Rubbed it with different colors. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, that that was kind of. you see that in a in a blue tones for like under the sea? <laughs> oh, she did some fabulous, wow. yeah. fabulous ones, you guys. I was just like, ah. Oh. So that's what I sit and do all night because my days and nights are mixed up along with us. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see, what else do I got hanging out around here? Um, oh, I did this box. Oh, um, this week. Pretty, yeah, yeah. Sharon sent me a, a box, a big box of goodies, and she sent me a, a couple of cigar boxes. So I'm gonna have to do that. Do that to mine. That is pretty. So what were the layers on your box? Um, hold on a minute. Beth. I'm digging. Hey, Beth, did that material? Did you like that? I loved it. She sent me some sorry material. I love it. Okay, I have a Beth, what I did on this was I took these uh I'm sorry here. Wait a minute. I took these um these That's here. It? You're okay. Okay, the flakes, the the gold flakes. Right. And gold and copper. Uh-huh. So I just put, uh, I kind of taped off the edges a little bit because I wanted to try to save the integrity of the inside of the box so I could put something on there. Because it will get thicker, thick, thick, whatever. Thickness, uh-huh. And, and then it'll cause the sides to not want to close. So I put down the matte medium and then I just dropped this all over the top. Wow. Let it dry. And then um, I took this brush and then I just brushed it all off. And then if there were any blank spots, I just filled it in. And these were just die cuts. Um, okay. Those were just die cuts that were in a bag. That is really, really cute. That's uh, very attractive looking to That's me. <laughs> So, so, okay. That. But what I'm really wanted to show you guys was this tea bag thing this lady was doing. And um, let's see. These were just all not that great of jelly prints, guys. So. <laughs> And then I was trying to uh, do what, um, oh my gosh, uh, I can't think of her name right now. I don't know why, uh, but I will. Devin, that's who. Devin was doing prints on clear oh, Devin for art. paper, and I just happened to have some of this. Yeah, and I was... Uh, so what I was doing was trying to copy, I need something black or dark here. Anyway, you get the idea. I was trying to copy what she was doing by getting a clear picture on here on the jelly plate. Yeah. But I couldn't, I couldn't get it to work, at least not yet. I won't give up, but I gave up that day because, um, well, um, I didn't want my jelly plate to get messed up. <laughs> so I just said, okay, that, that'll be, we'll just, that's enough of that for today. <laughs> um, I tried to do that one. I really wish that um, I could find that thing. Those are those are cool. I love I love all those papers under there. Oh, diamonds, and you're gonna to get to doodle some more on them too. This was a cloth journal cover. Oh, that I made. Um, 
That's that. cool. So it was it was kind of white, and then you you colored it and yeah, it was just a on piece it. Of sheet. It was a piece of old sheet that I cut. Okay, off. okay. So uh, that's what that is. But wow, what if I can't find those tea bag uh, little books I showed you. Yeah, yeah. I know, and I just I don't know what I did with them. Well, if you'll come across them, and you can show me later. Yeah. <laughs> well, but that I, was really fun. I I bet it was. I love to do stuff like that. And I watched, uh, I have two batik uh, fabric making videos from a, over a year ago. And I watched them both yesterday. So I'm in the mood to do more batik fabric. <laughs> and, uh, and I did make a couple of books with them. So, uh, all right. Uh, thank you. Um, I have 26 in the room and I only have 19 on my list. So I'm going to do a roll call and see who I've missed. And if I've missed your name, you can holler at me, 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 me. So I've got Janet Nash, Cheryl Johnson, Stacy M, Stacy May, Jassy, Candy, Jennifer, Sharon R, Belinda S, Marty Seely, Barry, Vanessa, Margaret, Sharon M, Donna, Pixie, Sherry Van, Teresa Church, and Sharon Lumbar. Did I miss anybody's name by accident? Kathy's here. I got Kathy. Did you not hear your name? Let me know. Yes, I have Cheryl. She's number two. Thank you, Vanessa. I got Candy. Sure do. Okay. I got Vanessa. I got Teresa. Oh, you're saying hi. Never mind. <laughs> I've got Barry. That's Barry, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Okay. I think I I, I think I got everybody. Uh, unless there's somebody in the balcony. Now, I know I have two devices up and running. And, and maybe somebody else has got an extra device running. And there might be somebody watching in the background. And they don't want to tell me their name. <laughs> Maybe their keyboard doesn't work like mine. <laughs> My keyboard doesn't want to work all the time. It's got a short in it. So, okay. So, with that being said, I have a couple of prizes to give away. And I'm, I'm dwindling down to some envelopes. But it's got some good things inside. And uh, so, let me... Uh, get my number generator up and then i'm going to paint so let's see who's going to win put the right numbers in make sure nobody else come in in the last second it's 6 30 i usually do it between 6 30 and 7 so we should be okay with the timing Okay. <laughs> uh, Donna. Donna is a winner. And she, she popped in and had to go to do some work. She's a school teacher. She's a speech therapist. So, Donna is the next winner. And these are, these prizes are to celebrate my five years of being, um, five years of being online streaming. And there's Brian. So, I'm going to put Brian, add Brian to the list and I'll change the number. 
And if you all don't know who Brian is, uh, hi, Kelly. I'm going to add Kelly. And I didn't have her down. That's okay. And Cindy, here comes everybody. Here they all come. <laughs> That's good. Better late than never. And, but Brian um, drums, he's a drummer. And he he can do it, buddy. I watched him the other night, and he is he's good. I didn't know the particular song he was drumming to, but he didn't miss a beat. I kid you not. So go over and check out Brian's channel. Okay. Thank you, Vanessa. It's been fun. It's been really fun. So I'm going to go back into my thing and change my numbers around. To include and the winner is Marty Marty and she took off too. that little stinker <laughs> but she was here she talked to me so I'm gonna put give Marty a, a prize and I want to thank uh, Sharon Lumbar and Margaret Lovinger for helping me with uh, prizes um, and supporting my channel. And uh, and uh, there are some prizes inside here from all three of us. So there are our two winners, Donna and Marty. And I want to thank everybody for coming and... Uh, Hang it out. That is awesome. Okay, Beth, I found him. Oh, boy. Okay, I watched the lady, okay. and these are done with all tea bags. Tea bags. Can you believe that, guys? Let me, I'm going to make you big for that because I love, I love that. I just love that. I'm, it just takes me a second to get this. Okay, there you go. So, tea bags. They're just tea bags. And they're all glued together. They were all glued to I glued all the tea bags together first. You can kind of see the line still. And then um, after I had them all glued together, and they get really kind of stiff when they're dry. And then I ran them through my um, in in my die cut machine with an embosser. And then uh, this was a napkin. And I glued on the back before I did it. And then when, I mean, when it was done, I just sprayed it with some um, inks and stuff and then just rubbed it. But I really had fun doing this. This was really fun. That yeah. just, I just love the texture of it all. It looks, it looks like it's an antique. It, it I'm telling yeah. you, that I could not believe how good these tea bags worked out. They just. They're good textures, yeah. And yeah, is, it, I mean, is it just a book cover? I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I just, okay. I just watched her and she made them. And I was like, I got to try it. So one night I sat here and then I just did it. So. Oh, I love that. I had, I do have a small collection in a tissue box over on my shelf of tea bags. <laughs> I've been well, saving. I, I can't do <laughs> I have to wait yeah, till morning. It, it does, Kellyanne. It looks like embossed leather. I have, and that's exactly what she said it would look like. And this one does. This one, I don't know about so much, but they were fun to make. And then, um, the rest of the time, when y'all don't see me, I'm just making tags and cards. I send some out to uh, some of the girls from the church. And um, so, I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what I'm doing all the time. Just well, making that's, them. that's wonderful. That is wonderful. But those are really cute books. I, uh, those that would be pretty on an end table, a coffee table, a bedside table. 
made some icy teas. Well, thanks, Beth. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so do you think that we should paint these a solid color first? Well, I was getting ready to find out what you think we should do. Uh, I got some parchment antique white. And I thought I was going to do his beard with it. It's not solid white. And I'm going oh, to. Oh, you're going to paint each little part. Yeah. Okay. I, hey, I'm following you because I'm not really good at these. That's what okay? I'm going to do. And I watch Barb Owens the back. I'll figure I out. Watch Barb that. Owens do these, and she gets all that dry brushing and all that. You know. Oh, no, I'm not going to dry brush. I'm just. Going I don't to know if I can do all that, but. And I'm going to take his hat around back, the back of his head. I'm drawing it on with the marker. And I put that on the back for the hat and to the side and connect it to the front for the hat. So this is the back of the hat. And then his beard. I, he don't, he's not going to have a beard on his back. It's going to be Wait a minute. shirt. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you went like this. I went to the side and then I kind of did a little tiny scoop in the back. Just a little scoop, you know, for the back of his head. And then there's going to be his coat. And, uh, and in the front, you don't really see his coat except for his sleeves. And then you see his trousers or whatever he's wearing. And I'm going to... Trousers, shoes, beard. I'm going to make his shoes like that. And then that's going to be his shoe. And then the rest of that's going to be his pants. I'm going to make his pants. His pants are going to be like oh. this. <laughs> and he can have a, a belt on back here. With maybe a belt loop. And then that's going to be his shirt, and he's got he's got uh, a sleeve like that. Oh. And then that's going to be his shirt like that. Okay. So what I did, I continued his feet to the side along with his shirt sleeve to the sides and his hat, his hat was to the side. Then on the back side, I continued his shirt sleeves right here. And then this is going to be his arm. And it doesn't matter on the back because you don't know where his arms are on the front. So as long as you make them even. And then these are going to be his pants. And I'm going to give him a a line down there. <laughs> looks like his looks like I'm not going to tell you what it looks like, but <laughs> I'm just like thinking, do I really want to do that? <laughs> it's his butt. It's gonna be his butt. Alright. It's his butt. <laughs> So with and made a couple of loopholes. And then I don't know if he's got long hair or not, but he might have a little bit of hair. We could give him a little bit of hair that comes out from under a hat. And I think the hat needs a little uh, some kind of a little ribbon or something along the top of the hat. So I'm gonna give him give him a little marking there. I'm making it up, really. So I'll put a little hat band on the back like that. You see it? So, everybody doing okay? <laughs> well, I almost got it. <laughs> You just realized that we both have Gnomies. <laughs> we do. Sharon sent it to me. 
Sharon sent this to me, and I just got it this morning. So, uh, so I said, "You want to come on tonight?" And she said, "Sure." Dana and Becca, I know they're they're going to be crashing right about right now. Hey, they did great today, Beth. They did oh, great. They were just like boom, boom, boom. Let's just keep moving. They were, they were very good. Worked yep. very well together. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to, uh, just because I just don't have any other place to start, I'm just going to go ahead and use this white and paint his beard. Now, um, Jennifer suggested we do something Easter-y. And, um, and I do have some, I have some little wooden embellishment I got from the dollar store. So I can put maybe a butterfly on his hat. It's a sticker, but it's wood. I, oh, you remember the, the uh, butterfly you sent me? The wooden one? Do you have any more of those? Loot me? Yeah. Show it to me. <laughs> I'm always putting that stuff together, sending it away. <laughs> I've already filled my boxes yet. I got birds, wooden birds, or bumblebees, cardboard shapes, and I've got the embell. I know these came from Dollar Tree because I remember seeing them. There's a. Oh, did you save any? Did I save any for yourself? And we could put oh. one of these on his hat. Maybe not those exact ones. Yeah, and then I have these too. Oh, I think I have some of the. Oh, I know I have some of those still. Now I don't know that I won't put a bird on there, but I would put a bumblebee or a butterfly. There's a butterfly in there. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's see if I can find. So we can paint him in Easter colors. Jennifer suggested we do an Easter style. Since it was Easter time. Okay, let me see if I can find a little something. something so, I don't know about the butterfly. It's a bit, the bumblebee's awful big, bigger than his nose. But the butterfly would be cute. Or I can use one of these. Oh, I found a bow. There you go. We gotta make them some kind of Easterish thing about them. <laughs> and then she sent me some die cuts. And I will, I'm gonna be using those for sure. So, and then I have an Easter egg. Uh, and this little. This little kit here had have even have the markers to go to decorate them with. I thought that was kind of cute at the dollar twenty-five store. But that little that little one there might be cute by his foot. So I'll save him for that. And I can either use a dragonfly. And with these brown ones, I can just leave them the natural color. I won't have to paint paint it. So kind of a, you know, on a brown tone. So let me get busy with my with my water. With my water. Oh, and I also found my, my silver flakes. And I've got some more gold flakes somewhere around here. I just haven't found them yet. One of those deals. Okay. So I'm just going to take my time and enjoy the painting.
I probably should have primed him. I'm thinking about priming him. Okay, here's some stuff here. Let's just... But I can do two coats. Chop box. <laughs> Scrap box. So I need some uh, Easter collars. I need hat and pants. And a shirt. That's a big dog. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go see what he's upset about. Uh oh, I got something on the Nomi already. It's causing ick right there. Oh, you can paint over it. I'm sure. Or I'm just going to paint the whole thing white to start with. I can't help it. Well, I'm going to probably use a couple of coats. I can't help it. <laughs> he looks like he needs to be crying. And then I need to go check these dogs and see what they're. Okay, I think it looks pretty good with this off-white. It, it looks pretty good. And it, it's going to be okay because if I do two coats, it's going to give it texture. It'll look good. Okay. So that looks pretty good. The dog didn't eat me one, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right. <clears throat> good I'm going thing. to go ahead and paint his beard on the white on the side. And make that white. And then I'll do red on the back or whatever color we're going to use for his uh, shirt, pants, and hat. What color? I never thought about this when I got started here. I'm going to have to. We're going to make them. Um, It's going to take me a while to get caught up with you, Beth. Well, oh, I, oh did you use gesso? Okay. No, I'm just using white acrylic. But Is that's that what? a gesso layer. Okay. I'm just doing his beard. <laughs> this is okay for a skin, for a top coat, it, right? It is. It is. I got a mess here now. This stuff here dries really fast, though. So it's fast drying. The, the the wood is absorbing, too. I yes, think it's it is. Thirsty. It's thirsty. It has to be, like, major... Because I am going to go over it with different colors. Okay. So 
anyway, I really, uh, Dana really had some great stuff at her sale today. Yeah, she did. Everything was uh, brand spanking. And those girls work great together. Yeah, they do. Yep. And they work great together. Yeah. I mean, they sure do. And they've, they've worked together before, too. They've done this before. That's my first time being at one of their auctions. So, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And so I'm just like, whoa. I mean, it was just, let's just keep on moving. Becca was, okay. on, top of all, was on top of everything. So that was pretty cool. So let's see now. What others did we all? What, what are we going to do? What color are we going to make his pants? What um, color are we going to make his hat? Are we going to do pastels? Okay, that's why. See, I have these colors. Ooh. That's why I thought. Well, maybe I better start with white. Okay. Because these are kind of clear. I've got orange and blue and yellow. And tubes like that. But I also have pink and purple. Great. One of my hairs is in my pink. I like to have a light blue. These may not work at all because they're so transparent. Well, you'll have to do two. Well, no, with the white on there, they might. You That's what I'm them. hoping for because um, when I got, when I started buying paint, I really didn't know the difference when I was buying paint about translucent, uh, you know, matte translucent colors and stuff. Uh huh. So I have a lot of paint and didn't realize some of it was translucent or whatever you call it. That, I'm going to use okay. pink and aqua and purple. Okay. And then I got to have a little bit of black for his shoes. And I've got some um, dragonfly glaze. That'd be cute for his shoes. And I'm going to use a, uh, a peachy collar for his nose. It might be a an orangey peach beige for his nose. Okay, I get some beige. And I can do light and dark. Let's see, I can do a dark pink on his hat band, and a, and his shirt. If I do it in purple, I can use a dark purple for his bands on his shirt together. And then this could be his trousers. Okay, I'm going to dry him real quick. I okay. Mean, That's what I'm going to do. So his hat's going to be pink. He's going to be ready for Easter. Wait, 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 too much pain. Wait. Alrighty. Did anybody stay to the end over at uh, 
Dana's? Did they really stop? Yeah, I was there at the end. I almost at the very end. They were getting ready to leave. Okay. When I I know, they were talking about it, and then somebody come in and they wanted to see something. So I thought, well, you know, if it was me. I'd go find it. I would go find it for them. It's the way I work. No, uh, my acrylic paint is working really good. It's covering it. Yeah. This blue's covering pretty good. I thought, but it's taken more paint than I thought it was going to. I I squirted a lot of paint out thinking that that was going to be too much. But I think it's probably going to be just enough. Because the hat, you got to do the sides oh. and the back. Right. And they are pretty thick, about an inch thick. Yeah, it's taking a lot of paint. It, even with that top coat, it's like it's soaking it in. Yeah, it might be. I'm trying to stay on the camera thing here. I've never done this before. I haven't either. <laughs> this is a... It's a first for me, Beth. But I couldn't help it when I found these. Um, well, actually, I found that little fox thing first. Remember I showed you that little yeah. fox thing with the yeah. little light? I found that first, and then I found these, and I was like, oh, I got to send Beth one of these and see if she'll do it on stream with me. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm in kindergarten again. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do, I do. But is Dana in here? Hi Dana, honey. Are you wore out? Are you plum wore out? And I'm not sure why YouTube put my um, Rebel Rocket art up there because I haven't used that. Well, I mean, that is the name of my channel um, if I start streaming again, but um, I didn't use that in a while. And it usually doesn't come up when I'm with What's uh, that? My name on here. It's come up. Oh, Karen yeah. Milo, Rebel Rocket. Well, that's uh, what your name at StreamYard. That's, that's not my channel, but normally it hadn't been coming up. I don't know. But that's okay. a, that name is put up there from StreamYard, not YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. I mean, my face, my StreamYard channel. It has my name. Just saying. Water. 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 All right, that was good. You'll be back at it tomorrow. I done told everybody they have to come back at 12 o'clock. I'm going to set my alarm. You guys did really good today, um, Dana. I really enjoyed myself over there. 
Okay. Yeah, you you guys you girl you girls worked really good together. Um, so, is this the only part of his shirt right here, Beth? This little stripe. That's his sleeve. That's the only part, right? Or is this yep. part? No, I'm counting that as his sleeve. What about that little diamond above it? That's his shirt. He's okay. got a band on his sleeve and then the collar of the shirt. I'm going to do mine in purples. Okay, so all this is separate from the... And yeah. the hand the hand is separate. Okay. I'm going to paint the nose and the hands the same shade. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do... I'm going to do his pants blue, too. Match his hat and his pants. And then I'll add something, 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 somewhere. Okay, now I'm messing it up. Yeah, he's got to do his hand, and it goes all the way around. Just messy. Okay, I got one hand. I gotta find a paint color to do his hands. <laughs> I'm using a it's a beige, but it's kind of a, a sun peach. And I made his nose the same color. You could probably use a real light pink and or mix your white and pink together. Make his shirt stripes like that too. Okay. Now I don't know if that's gonna work, but he has. Okay. Um, you know what feels so weird is it just doesn't have any eyes. Well, they're up under his hat. I know. It just seems so weird. <laughs> it really does. That's okay. a no for you. He's getting a pink. He's getting a pink beard. That's just the way they work. Oh, I forgot to paint his pants all the way around the back. So. Okay, I'm going to start over. Yeah, this paint was really, really translucent. And it's really streaky to me. Oh, man. I think I like this sleeve. I don't know for sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm throwing this paint away. I really hate it. This is like the fourth time I've tried to use it, and it is a disaster. What kind of paint is it? I don't know. Um, Self-made creative. Is that Dollar Tree? I've never heard of it. Me either. 
I'm not sure where I even got it from. So, okay, so sleeve, I'll have to come back to you on this. Usually, uh, Prang is Dollar Tree brand. Prang. Mm -hmm. And I don't care for it at all the prank and i told joe to please not buy me anymore he keeps buying me stuff it's like no i want better paint <laughs> don't yeah. buy me that paint because i won't throw it out i don't know this is really some well this is really cool. okay not too bad. Oh, I missed the pink spot. Now that's that's it for the pink. I'm gonna have to put some kind of something on this beard to cover up all the ugh. Let's see. And there's a lot of ugh. Let me see the front of your bed. <laughs> I already get to see those. We gotta do this pom pom. Oh, that looks good. The green <laughs> and the pink look good. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'm gonna put some like stripes on his pants or something to. Uh, I don't know. It just looks really rough. Okay, so now I'm just trying to oh, keep forgetting to do all the way around. Yep. Okay. I'm going to at least do the sides. I don't know if I'm going to do the back back. I'm losing... Uh, mm. You know what? Maybe I'll just get find some yarn and put yarn on his beard. <laughs> yarn you make. know what? That would be a good idea. Some co cotton balls. Oh, cotton balls. Anything's better than this pink. <laughs> well, what if you did some more white on top of it and, and sponged it on his front of the beard? Leave the sides, but do the front with a, with a white on top of that pink okay that's what i'm gonna do next that sounds like a good technique that sounds like a good idea let's see jen says the next swap beth we have we should do a gnome swap and dress the gnomes up for different jobs like a nurse or a gardener and cheryl it is weird it, it, it's just a weird kind of paint i don't know maybe if it was just on regular paper uh but I have tried to jelly plate with it, and it's pretty nasty on there, too. So. Okay, now, let's see here. If I can just get a base coat, I might be able to start looking at him different. Because <laughs> yeah. he doesn't have any eyes. <laughs> I know that's probably weird, but okay. No, get all this wet. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, no. All right. Now let that dry. Okay, well, I think Gnome should have eyes too, Cheryl, because I can't get a fix on what to do with it. <laughs> it just it Both have eyes, feel. you just can't see them. They're up under okay, the what do you think? Okay, what do you think about that, Beth? Oh, That's I better. like it. I like it a lot. Stop. That is a lot better, I think. Stop. That's it. That's all you need. Perfect. Okay. I think I'm going to put, I used a uh, antique white on his beard. So now I'm going to get the white white and do the same thing on top of my beard. With the white, white, white on white. Okay, his paint is like done. I'm not even going to use any more of it because. So now I'm going to use dark purple. Like that. Well, there's Annette. Hi, Annette. Haven't seen you in a month of Sundays. Good to see you. I believe she lives up in Norway. Someplace up there. Good to see you, honey. We're painting tonight. Just having a little fun at painting. I'm looking for a hand color here or something. And that looks like it's about it right there. How have you been, Anne? Annette? How have you been? Been doing okay? Yes, it did. It made his beard look fluffy. It sure did. It looks 3D, doesn't it? Thanks. <laughs> it looks better than it did. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sir. Well, now, Sharon, I always say there has to be an ugly stage before you get to the good stage. I know. And that's I true. Know what? You know it's true. No, I gnomes are just I'm sorry I just want to go you know just you just slap some eyes inside of his hat like he's peeking we'll put some eyeball put some googly eyes on him if you must <laughs> I might just put an eye here and an eye here and have him peeking out over his hat but I, I think I bought some um I bought some eyelashes stickers, and they 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 would be perfect to go right underneath their hat, his hat, from Dana today. Cause oh, I've got you eyeball eyeball. eyelash stickers. They were eye. They were just eyelashes. Cool. That was before you got in there. Okay. She'd been doing it since twelve o'clock. <laughs> Well, I was on Central Time. Yeah. 
So by the time I got in there, y'all been in there a while. It, yeah, I think we were. We it, they were. She was moving right along. She wasn't dilly dallying. It was a fast pace. But I've got uh, I've got all these eyeballs. As fast as they were moving along, just keeping things moving, moving. Yeah, they keep were. People in the that room and keeps people buying because Beth uh, with with Beth. I saw my name there. Cheryl wrote my name. With uh, Dan, uh, Becca there, uh, they were a good team. They they whipped it out good. Sorry. So, good night, Barry. Good night, Barry. Oh, and it says, I've been trying to find the desire to be creative after my home. Oh, no, Annette. Oh, I'm so sorry. Her house burned down and her pets. Oh, heavens. Do you have a new address? Will you message me your new address? Or your temporary address? Yeah, we can send some stuff. Okay. Now, okay, now he's got feet. Still no eyes. <laughs> okay. No, no eyes. Can't call him a peeping Tom. <laughs> okay, I will, Cheryl. I will add her to the prayer list. fingerprints and dark hair you guys if i send you anything and it has dark hair i'm so sorry but um i have um two shepherds um one is a pyrene shepherd mix so if you know wow. pyrene, you know how big she is and you know how much hair and the other one is um Uh, German Shepherd and uh, oh, St. Bernard. Wow. Uh, he's huge. He weighs uh, like a hundred and um, I think he was 135 pounds last oh, time wow. he was at the, at the doctor. <laughs> he's, he's huge, guys. I mean, when I say huge, he comes, um, I'm like almost five foot five, and he comes up to my boobs almost, his head. Wow. Uh, I mean, his head goes up to the four foot fence in the back. His head is already at the, almost the top of the back. Yeah. <laughs> he could jump that fence. If he uh, had a good run he could start. Jump as if he wanted to, but he's never out by himself. Okay, now let's give him a little doopy up here. What Beth did. 
my little dog i've got nora she's she's got shepherd in her her face looks like a bear and she's a digger she digs uh, out she'll dig out of the backyards and i don't know how many holes we filled for her oh. dig and then she she runs to the front door and scratches at the front door to let her in and then she runs right back out the back door it's a game angels a digger though. she's so cute though but she never really takes off and goes too much to where she if we're outside she will stay in the yard she knows the boundaries of the yard and she knows we mean it we've never of course we've never scolded her or anything but but we let her know we love her and we don't want anything to happen to her Angel's but i think that's her. that's how she got lost she uh she must have dug out of her home wherever she was from and uh she get she ran down the road and got hit by a car so they found they got her and took her to the vet and that was up north in pensacola somewhere so somehow she got down here halfway to central florida so uh i i got her from a from a dog foster do dog person and uh she had uh she had to pay his surgery bill i don't know if he had to have surgery but he they x-rayed him and gave him shots and stuff like that they gave her shots and i think she was fixed so <clears throat> we paid for all that to get done but uh but oh we're nuts about her okay there's the back angels are rescue um yeah and she's then, a um tank the big one he came from um a guy down the road who had a litter and i mean i knew he was going to be big when i saw his paws right and, you know at just six weeks old but absolutely no idea that he was going to be you know 140 pounds no. Yeah. Nora's about 40 pounds, 45. But, and if Abby doesn't eat, Nora will eat it for her. So we uh, have to watch. And Abby's not used to being dominant over her food because she was the only one for, you know, half her life. So she doesn't know if she walks away, it's going to get be it's going to be missing when she gets back. Be gone. Sometimes she okay. does. So I have to watch Abby. He really needs to die. I have to watch her and make sure she gets to be fed because I'm always because I'm worried because Abby's 16 and I don't want anything happening. You know, I don't want it, her to die because of that. Oh my gosh, Dana had a mastiff, 210 pounds. I know those are huge. Good night, Janet. Good night, Janet. Okay. Hey, this guy, his back is never going to be shown. Just this well, he, he might. You might see his back if you set him up in the window. Oh, yeah. If you got somebody peeking in the window, they might see his back. <laughs> somebody peeking in the window, they're going to be somebody's dinner. Exactly. 140 pounds going through glass, was, oh, it would be ugly. So that I'm don't sound good. very good. Nope. But he would be cute sitting under the Christmas tree with his back to, or sitting, hiding inside the Christmas tree. I like to hide stuff inside the brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could set him in there and his back didn't show. Okay. 
I just don't know what to do, Beth. With no eyes, it's so hard to move forward. <laughs> okay. What can I hold? I think it's pink. It's dry. I need a pokey thing. Okay, here we go. Pokey. I keep moving out because my camera's not in the right spot. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. What color dots? I'm going to give it dots. No green and sure. This much. Making the plumbers crack. <laughs> See, Beth is more adaptive. She's better at this, like a totally. Dana, look. You mean to put it up there. You want to put it up there. I wanted him to look like he had on britches. Okay, those are not really showing up like I thought they would. This is the kind of thing Dana likes to do. I wish I'd sent it to Dana then. She probably can work with no eye animal thing and her no eye thingy. She would put him a crack in. <laughs> she would. Something. Well, we've got to go down here oh, now. Well, I forgot about the belt. Yeah, I did a belt. It's the same color as his shirt, though. I didn't figure it matter that much. Okay, he's going to get sparkles on his hat. Oh. That's what it is. I didn't put the line for his arm. That's why he looks so weird. Yeah, you can do that. I, I did that uh, with the same color, the purple, darker purple. Okay, this might help give me some perspective. How far up? Well, I guess that kind of works. Yeah? No? I think he looks cute. Oh, I messed up. I see. You were doing his back. 
Yeah, I'm turning them around. Okay. Now he gets a shirt sleeve. And his beard. I put his beard to the side and then stopped. So there's the front, the side, and the back. Okay. And his beard's hanging over. That's all I can... That's it. I'm just so over this now. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Let's try. And then just kind of... Beth, you really are so much better at this freehanding stuff. Oh, yeah, not really, but there were lines. There were lines. I was not prepared. There was lines. You can't go wrong without with the lines. Let's see if I can make them up. Yeah, you can. Have you seen this mess I got going over here? You can. Make between his legs. I got to make something between his legs. Um. Are you in the front of it? Did. Oh, you're making something between his. Oh, okay. I made a stripe between his legs and then down the back side. Okay. Okay, kids, children. Put this away. How did the purple go? I think it's good enough. I need a little bit of purple there. And then I'm going to need the black. Blacky black black. Okay, well, I don't like that, whatever that is down there. I'm going to have him holding these clocks. Okay. Okay, Cheryl. Okay, the clocks are staying. I like those. And then, uh, let's see. I need to look for something. I'm going to mute a minute. Okay, okay. I'm lying. 
Okay, I'm lying. I'm gonna light a cigarette. Okay, because now I'm. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll be. I say you don't have to hear me. <laughs> Okay, almost. We are so lucky. We're spoiled. Because, you know, back in the old days, they'd have to whittle this thing out. They wouldn't have hobby sh shops to have it already pre-cut for us. We would have to go out and find our own collars in the woods and use walnut stain and, and blackberry juice and and mulberry what were some of those other hickleberry and 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 smashed bugs ladybugs for the red remember all those things did you ever learn about where collars came from back in the old days i think i am done i'm just going to put some of this dragon glaze on them and uh See if you'll sit right, right there. there. You need a fluffy thing. Back in the old days, you, Margaret, do you remember none of that? All those days, learning about it in school. We'd always have uh, fall festivals that would, uh, where they would come in with the fibers and and the yarns and and uh, they would talk about how they dyed the yarns back in the day and they would have samples of browns and yellows and greens and they would use the different kind of plants in the woods pixie says i made bunny maracas for my baby oh how cute what you make them out of did you use gourds or anything like that? That sounds like a fun job. Craft job. I'd like that. Send pictures. If I would have had a smaller one of these, I was going to put it on there. I was hunting all over for this. That was on, um, I think, Mark, yo -yo? right? Is that a yo-yo? Yeah, it was on my I, my envelope from Margaret, I think. Oh, it was on the outside? Yeah. And they sent, and it didn't get ripped off? Great. I'm surprised. Oh, Margaret, I remember hiding under the desk for uh, fire and tornado uh, drills because I'm from Missouri. And when we were little, we always had those. Okay. Can you tell his feet are got dragging legs on them? Has to dry. It's a shiny 
got shiny boots on. Thank you, Pixie. She's going to post a picture. Okay. I think I'm done. Oh, I got to do his beard. Almost done. Now, I think I can lay this on his side. See if I can get the paint lids back on. It did, Margaret. The envelope came and it was beautiful. That and this one goes to this one. I wish I could decide what to do with this hat. And this one goes to this one. Now I'm going to take the white white and uh, do something to the beard. I don't know what to do with it. So let's see what we can do here. Something on his hat, but I don't know what to put up there. Do you like the Butterfly? I know I don't like these dots on his pants. Oh, I know what I should do, guys. I should use my expand paste on his beard. Oh, yeah, that would be great. I don't have any bunnies. I only have butterfly. Um. Okay, I'm going to have to let them dry now. And then I'll get the expand paste out. Mm -hmm. Okay, put some of my paint away. It's amazing how your paint, when you paint out of the can, out of the jar, you don't waste anything. So you keep your paint longer. And I just. My paints just last and last and last. Going to use extreme base, yay! <laughs> I just happened to have some. Let's see here. damage over here. I think I have to fix it. I think the butterfly is about the only thing that I can put up there. 
so I don't have anything else that's kind of pinky. So. And I love this butterfly. <laughs> I want it on something. <gasps> okay. Now, I'm going to dry my beard. Got to dry his beard. Okay, well, I managed to make it without putting eyeballs on him. That was... What about eyelashes? <laughs> Put a little short. I have, fake, I have some fake eyelashes, but I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I've used fake eyelashes before. Yeah. Artificial. Okay, I'm going to call him done. If I make any changes, I'll put the picture over. Oh, you, you uh, I like the way you did your sleeves in the front. That's cute. Well, the sleeves. Sarah Marlowe, hello, hello. Hello, Joe. How are you doing, honey? Well, I'm getting ready to cover up pink dots on my guy's pants because I don't like them. Oh, and try and figure something else out. Or maybe just okay, some cannolis. Is it a cannoli? It is. I was gonna say it looks like a little it's dwarf. a gnome. Can y'all see me? Am I in the picture? No. <laughs> now I'll zoom down here. About that. But her gnome is done right. No, it's, it's right. not necessarily. Right. There's no right or wrong. Well, I mean, okay. now. I like, look what you did to your beard. I love you it. You know, I tell you what, she did the back of hers and it looks amazing. Okay. I gave up on the back because I got frustrated because the gnome doesn't have any eyes. And um, I'm having a real problem with that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that gnome won't care. What, what about painting, painting him some like. wire rim glasses on his. Oh, yeah. Hanging off his nose, some, some, or put him a, a chain, one of them chains on around his neck with his glasses hanging down off of him. Yeah, or kind of like, like his reader glasses. Yeah, uh, like uh, Beth. What you think I'm like Van Gogh over here? I can just do that. You can do that. I can do that. Hey, it's just a brush away. Um, just a brush away. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I, I like that. I think she did good. She did She's using her and look at no, that's three D. No, that's a technique. Oh, that's paint on that paint. Like paint. Beth uses. Nope, I'm using the next fan page now. Oh, see, she got she got upset because you was doing a better job. She. she you know. I don't get to use my expand paste as much as I like to. She's so. got that popcorn paper. Anytime I get a chance to use my expand paste, I kind of jump at Thanks, it. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, guys. There, it is good, Cheryl. Well, I had to come She's... in here, and I'd hate hate to interrupt you, ladies, but there was a storm that just passed over us and did not drop any water from out of that beautiful sky, and now it's uh, it went all the way south, and the sky in the south which would be Miami, Tampa, is unbelievable red. It's just... Sun. Yeah. Well, no, the sun's... Red. The sun's on the other side, huh? Sunset. Mm -hmm. I guess Can you take a picture for us, Joe? Yeah. Well, that's what I need. I need a picture, honey. Oh, that's what I'm at. I just come in here for nothing. He did. Know. He's got it. He's got one. I, can't, I have to take a picture because I forget about it. Well, just like my battery, I it forgot about it. <laughs> oh no, your no. battery died. No, here's uh, here's one of them. Uh, you want me to show them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm busy. 
Oh, you're basic. I, I'll have to turn this a little bit. Though. Okay. Now, this was a storm in the south, and it came from the north. It, I'm, I'm sure it was on the radar. Hold it up a little higher, Joe. Higher? Right there? Raise it up. Oh, okay, right there. Whoa. How about this? Yeah, that's okay. perfect. Wow. Okay, let me see here. Oh, that's so loud. Look, Whoa, look at that pink. This goes all the way on the other side of Jacksonville. Oh, now, this wow. this right here is just over. Okay, now let me just verify that. We live in, there's a turtle. Uh, we live in New Smyrna Beach area, which is about 25 miles south of Daytona. And he thinks Jacksonville is just like two miles north of us. See my and turtle? it's two hours north of us. That's in our backyard. Aww. I tried to find him a place, but he got underneath my truck, my car trailer. So he's he's in good shape. All the dogs and I guess they all meet under their knee. When something. he comes out, they bark at him. There's that. There's that part of it of the storm. The storm. But if it's south of us, you might see some clouds from Titusville. But Titus Fields is an hour away, but that's where they're headed. Yeah. When I was living in Florida, I mean, you could be outside and it could be sunny, and within just a few minutes, boom. Yeah, it, it has it has rained in the front yard and sunshine in the backyard. Before. Now, now this shot here is a, a picture, and I hope you can see it down at the bottom, right here, right here is the moon oh i see it and it's in this in this oh, wow. big open area where the rest of the thing it's probably uh too too bright but this is the moon right here mm -hmm. oh wow i can see it, it when you yeah, yeah i seen it beautiful oh there you go it's, it's oh. be, uh raise it up a little bit more you had it there for a second oh okay there it is Oh, that's, that's amazing. That's the moon, and that is on the east, um, east, the southern east uh, of the. Let's see, uh, of the ocean. Yeah, that of course the moon would be way out of, over the ocean. But that was a that was a cool looking shot, um, and the wind come in like it was really going to get nasty. Looks like smoke. Yeah. But it's it's the clouds. That's the clouds just roaring. That's my backyard. Isn't that pretty? Wow. We got a nice place. Yes, you do. I've got some I've got some shots of um there, well, there's a good You can see the craters on the moon on this picture. Uh, Just take things. Put it I right know, there. Joe. I know. But that's amazing. Yes. Thanks for bringing those in to show us, Joe. I was on top of the roof. I got a. This old car. Used to be, used to be my grandpa, my grandfather's car. It's a '62 oh. Thunderbird. Oh wow! Joe's going to re—I don't know—he he wants to redo it. There's our tortoise. Hmm. He's a land turtle, and he barrows into the ground. He looks happy. He looks healthy. He's not in the camera. Oh, he needs my camera. Oh. He's yeah, healthy see. looking. Let me see. Him. There's the ice cream that he there's, bought me. There's Beth's favorite. Uh, Which one did you buy me? Oh, my favorite department. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go back, go back, go back. What kind of what kind of you like, Sharon? I'm getting ready to go down and get some. Oh, I like those uh, crispy bars, the 
They're covered with crispy chocolate. Thank you, Joe. All the chunkies. Now, I, I'm yeah, going to I do don't care my... what the inside is, Joe. It can be chocolate or vanilla on the inside. Just that crunchy chocolate on the outside. The crunchy chocolate. And mm -hmm. I like the Heath what? bars every now and then, too. Yep, that's the one. Heath bar. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, that, that, that is crazy. It's so easy. We'll put a little freeze in there. Now, did you put the little down? No, it's a wood. It's a wood. It's a wood. He's no malicious. Sharon, I like yours. I, I like that pink. I, I really had the pink in the white. You'd have liked him better if he had eyes. I, I, I think he looks like, <laughs> he looks like a little guy on, 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 uh, on TV. But on TV so. and, and he's, he's the same man, I believe. But, uh, Remember Artie? Artie on the last end? Yep. Very interesting. Very interesting, my dear. Okay. There he is. He looks good, Bass. Look at your backside. I mean, not the butt part, but just the back side. The butt looks pretty good, too. He's got you, but so I mean, as far I should as put him a pocket on there, yeah. Well, I mean, oh, hot mind, hot mind space. The, she says there's clouds in her community tab. I'll go over and look at them, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So there was the expand pace, and it feels like uh, it feels like styrofoam, like you know, those little styrofoam eight ounce cups. That's what it show feels me, like. Show me what that is, Beth. It's called Expand Pays, and several people sell it. I've got the Sizzix brand, and the and uh, I tore the label off by mistake. But it's okay. this one is Sizzix, but you can get other brands of it. But it's called Expand Paste. Now this one is an almond collar. What's it poofs up after? But it poofs up after you. Now? Yeah, you put it, you glue it on there, goop it on there real good with your brush, and then it expands when you put the heat to it. Oh, the okay. almond turns snow white, but it comes in different colors. Okay. And and so far, I have not had any desire to buy any of the colors because I use white for beards and hair and waves and snow. And so you kind of use it all year long. This is my second bottle of it, and I'm halfway through it already. But uh, I do enjoy it. And you can add color to it, but um, it still comes out washed out a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, but I've, you, you know, it's just fun to use sometimes when you get the opportunity to do it. Did you and, heat uh, that up already? Huh? Have you yeah. heated that up? Didn't you hear the heat gun? No. It only took about oh, wow. three, three. Yeah, I did. Three it. minutes. I like it. I like it a lot. I can do. I can do. A, let me put some on this butterfly for you. Yeah. But it goes on uh, an almond collar, and it's like butter. It's like goopy butter. And uh, I just use a dry brush. It washes up with water, and um, and you can see it. It's it's a uh, uh -huh. real uh, pudding. It's like pudding. Okay. And um, and then you put it on your surface and sort of dab it around. It's kind of it's got a buttery slicky to it, but you can move it around a little bit with your brush. Unlike and our butter roll in chat. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's Doritha, and um, and so anyway, there's the 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 expand paste on this uh, butterfly. And I'm going to heat it up and show you, watch you, let you watch it uh, swell up. And it reminds me of that insulation stuff that they use in, you know, the men use in the, in the, um, uh, in the, okay. the uh, hardware department. And yeah. I'm going to try to find something to put it on. 
I'll put it on here. Because I, I can't get my fingers too close to it because of the heat gun. So watch it, watch it, um, watch it. You can see it now. It's make yourself big. Beth, make yourself big. Okay. So I can see Good it. Idea. Do what? I'm going to enlarge my picture here. Get away Sorry. from it. Okay. So, so there it is. You see the, uh, it's almond. It's kind of an almond color. Yep. And now watch it turn white. Oh, wow. Like popcorn. Oh, I like that a lot. I love it. I, it's, it's, you know, for the price, it lasts you all year, you know, and you get so many enjoyments out of it. It's And it's already cooled off, you know, so uh, right afterwards. It dry, it swells up like, uh, it feels like styrofoam cup or maybe popcorn without any butter on it. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, so man, uh, that butterfly looks great now. So yeah, yeah. Granny says she liked it. Yeah, yeah. So, Thanks, so anyway, I then like I did his, his uh, beard. So so there we go. Yeah. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> I got to do it just a little bit more. There's a little a wet spot here. Hello. I'm going to take a picture of my beard, my eyeless gnome, and put it over in the earth. And, and you have to be careful because you can scorch it. Yeah, and it turns brown. It'll it'll turn black. It will, it will, yeah, it's so, but that's what expand paste is. And several people say it, sell it. It's not just scissors. Just uh, Google it. Okay, now. It's eight o'clock. I'm going to pull pull my uh, prompto prompts out for some of the girls that like to play this. And uh, see, this would be that would be good to put on uh, a ticket. Is expand paste? I don't think I've got it on a ticket. Include so sewing something sewing doodles. Draw your breakfast and oh, a fox. I can do a fox <laughs> and something royal, royal. So that could be royal blue, it could be a king or a queen, a queen bee. I could do a queen bee, a royal queen bee. I got a fox out of my fox book. I can get a fox. I've got stickers. And then I have this little fox. And we can doodle. We can sew. And we need to buy get some fruit. Add your breakfast. Okay. So, oh, I was going to glue something else onto my... Um, I got some Easter decorations I'm going to put on here, too. So let me take a picture of this. What did you put on your... What did you get? What's that? It was a... What was, what was on your, on your guide or something? Like that? Well, I've got, I'm going to put one of these on its head, and I've got a little, little Easter egg I'm going to put down here on his foot and give him a little Easter decoration. Yeah. Like that. Sewing, doodle, thank you, Stacy. 
Breakfast, Fox, and Royal. Very good. So that's good. So I don't need any of these right now. And I've got a special place for these things. But these look like, I know it's probably just paint on there, but it looks like cardboard and they just ripped the paper off and it was white underneath. You know how you, when you rip a label off? <laughs> That's what it looks, reminds me of. It's funny. I've got those. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like a paper texture. So, uh. Now, put some of these things away and got some more space. Oh, let me get Sharon back in here. Sorry. There you go. Better says she got the, uh, your mail yesterday. Oh, good, good. Okay, Beth. Yes. Okay, I'm going to let you do what you're doing and I'm going to jump off of here and uh, go. I'm, I have uh, dinner in the crock pot. Oh, okay. And uh, so I'm just going to go and start. I'm going to mess with that for a little bit. And thank I'll you. be back. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I'll just, if, you're, if you're coming back, I'll, I'll just make myself big. Yeah, and I'm just going to mute me. Okay. okay. I'll see you in a minute. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> Have a nice dinner. Stay some man. Okay. And, uh, so. I didn't say hello to you yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> hello, hello, Margaret. I hope you didn't. Hi, Melissa. Out of picture. So Cassie. let's go ahead and get our and do our pronto prompt. I do have little tiny um, markers. Let's see how good they. Yeah, let's see how good these hello. guys work, and uh, on my little chickadee. Okay, let's try this end. These are just the tiniest little markers. I wonder if they work. Oh, Melissa! Melissa you. goes out on Saturdays. I bet you went out to eat. Did you go out to eat? Oh. I bet you she went out. That's to going eat. out to eat. She's going out to eat in the kitchen. Yeah. We're going to have chicken. I got to fry it now. Didn't know it was this late. Just a little yeah, collar on my Easter egg. Like that. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, I got to make the chickadee yellow I like your name uh, color with Priscilla yeah it's a cute name it's one I always that's tell Melissa. everybody that that's does. Melissa yeah that's Melissa uh-huh oh okay there's that's her that's her first name two or three of the ones that uh, Occasionally, I would get to say something to them. So I think some of them were really cool. What's this little guy doing? What? This little chickadee? Is that a chickadee? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, there, right there. Yeah, they come in perfect. Are you. Have you have you ever uh, put a mouth on one that's got a big beard like that? Uh, well, you could do beard. lips. I think I've lips. done lips before. When yeah. I say, I, I don't, maybe once. And I've done a mustache. Yeah. Mhm. Mm and done lips. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And that buying spaces or space buying spaces. It's cute too. I like that. Yeah. 
Oh, she took some pictures of the photos of the clouds where. Yeah, she said they're on her channel. Oh, on, in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, I do have some. They're not up to date, but I, I have got some awesome, awesome pictures. And um, I will show you guys since there's two or three that's missed. Uh, Maybe I won't. <laughs> it's in the community tab. Okay. Oh, yeah. That there is scary. Yeah, that, I think pictures of a lot of stuff. And there's the zoo. And this is something else. Okay. There he is. Backyard. He's got his little chickadee egg. There's our there's our uh, Easter ornament. Now Let's get this little butterfly on its head. And I'm going to leave the butterfly brown. Or it's a, a dragonfly. And I'm just going to leave it brown. Just like that. Okay. Here we go. There's three little gnomes. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've painted them before. Okay, so let's do this. We've got a fox and a queen bee. Oh, Candy said her kids did shrinky dinks today. I've got shrinky dinks over there in the closet. I've done them before. <laughs> I like shrinky dinks. So that one's going to be royal. And that's going to be the fox. Then I've got to do breakfast, doodles, and sewing. Now, what can I do for breakfast? I can make an orange. Oh, you know what? I had, a, had some paper in here. Look. There can be my orange right there. I can make one of these my orange. How about if I do that? Got my scissors. So there's an orange. Can make a I can make a lemon. It's a good enough lemon if I ever saw one. Or a pear. I don't know where this comes from, but I have to have, say that. I made it. I that I had a picture. Cute. You've got my pictures. It's a it's a, a, a thing. Uh, we painted him, Joe. Oh, now let me see. I got a new magazine today, and let's see if we can find some. Uh, let's see if we can find some a basket or something to put our fruit in. Put our fruit in. We need a fruit basket or a bowl. I can make a bowl if I just find a piece of color paper. See what we can find.
Those flowers look pretty. I could put me some, have some flowers coming into the side. Do a little collage. That might make a pretty bowl. We'll make it a blue bowl. We'll make a bowl out of that one. Oh, look, I found some strawberries. I've got some strawberries in there. I'd like to have some strawberries, honey. Will you fix me some strawberries? Yeah. I can fix a, a strawberry jubilee for breakfast. That would be breakfast food. Well, the strawberry would be breakfast food. <laughs> the drink wouldn't, but. Look at that turkey. I'll have to save him for Thanksgiving. Nice. Look at that. Okay, I think that's enough for starters. There's some royal blue color. Let's see if we can't use some of that. Oh, look, fine art. That might be our word for the day. Because you know how I like to do words. Let's start with that and see what we can come up with. Let's just make us a little collage here. Got oranges and lemons. We can put this at the bottom. That's a uh, Southern Florida somewhere. Wow. This picture. We're going to put this down first. I'm going to unplug my glue gun for a minute. And we're going to put this down. And I am going to cut out the fine art. Because I think that should be our word for the day. And then I'm going to use some of this uh, blue. To put up here. And we're going to paint. Do a little bit of painting. And then we'll paint our butterfly. And I've got a little bit of blue here. And a little bit more here. Did you all watch Aditi this week? Wednesday, she did a, re, uh, uh, a painting collage piece where she used, she used paper and pictures. And, uh, and she made a big, she made a big poster page. And um, it was pretty cool. You ought to go over there, at least go over to Dee Dee's and um look at the video and and then watch the end of it to see the final picture because it was cool so i'm going to cut the strawberries out and see if we can put them in our page and i'll just maybe do a little something like this a 
like that. That'll look good. Can y'all see my page? My cockade? And I've got another piece of of um, a pocketbook over here. And I'm going to use that for my bowl. It's royal blue. It's, that's my collar right there. So that's going to be our bowl. And and our and our our uh, things are going to be in the bowl. Got an orange and a lemon. So uh, like that. See how break them? Dee Dee's above. Thank you, Cheryl. Very helpful. And we got to sew, and we're going to doodle a little bit, and we got the breakfast. So we're doing good. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. And I'm going to do some painting around this paper as well. I was afraid of that. Had it clogged up there. Joe? Yes? Will you feed Abby? She's crying. So, uh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. I must have a clog because it stopped it back up. <sighs> There, and I've got a little credit card. And I'm going to glue the top up here. And I'm going to glue this one down here. And I lost my, lost my, my stuff. Put this here. That there, and that there, and smooth it down a little bit. This is fun to do this uh, this type of collaging because um, it's truly mixed media. You really do. It's really mixed media. You're using your art book. You're using glue. You're losing a magazine, you're using painty papers, and you're making things out of out of the papers you find in the in the magazines. And uh, it's just fun. That's all I gotta say. So I've got a little piece of something up in here I gotta get it out because it clogs my glue up it's clogging it Let's see if we can't get it out so there's that let me get my pen back out and do a little surgery here It's a piece of uh, glue up in there. That's where it dried. I had a lid. I didn't have my thing in here, and it dried and made a clog up in there. Can't tell if I got it out or not. I think I got it out. Do a little surgery on my glue bottle. 
There, let's see if that'll work now. Can you use the die cuts? Yes, you can use anything you want. Uh, oh, butter roll. <laughs> You're talking to butter roll. Sorry. So anyway, I'm, I'm gluing the, the beach down. This is what my beach looks like. This is what it looks like where I live. Just a little bit more glue right there. Like that. And like that. Okay. And then I've got to find my what did I drop? I dropped my orange and my strawberries. So let's try this. if I need the hand or not, but definitely the flowers. Maybe the top of the hand. And then I'm going to put my bowl here. And, uh, and my fruit goes in the bowl. So let me go down here and get my strawberries off the floor. Hopefully my orange is down there too. I think I found him. Yeah, I found him. And bonus, I found this. I found the little fox down there too. Said I was going to use this fox. We could have more than one fox. So this is what I was going to do here. A little glue on the strawberries. Put them in the bowl. Put the bowl down. So this is how you do a little collage. There's the lemon. Here's the orange. Put it in the bowl, and I like the lemon coming out of it over here. So that's good. I'm going to get my credit card and smooth those down. Did I glue this down? I think I did. I did. So we'll glue the edges down now. And then we can trim it. Trim that. And then I'm going to paint a little bit up here. With some more paint. And I'm going to cut my hand off. That's my hand. <laughs> Bringing in these little flowers, these petunias or little little rosettes, rosettes or something. So you can take and do a little bit more glue on top to burnish it down around the edges if you want. And then I'm going to paint a little bit. So. I can get, I've got several shades of blue, and I even have some shiny blue. What I do with my art? Oh my gosh, have I lost it? Oh no. Oh 
I'll never find it. Did anybody see where it went? Lost my art. No telling where it is. Is it on the floor? Oh, gotta find it. It was perfect. I'll never find another one. Um, Vanessa was doing a video tonight, uh, a live stream uh, in honor of Alicia. Um, and we did have a, a, a silent moment of prayer for her earlier in the stream uh, when we first came on. And, um, and she was going to do a little memorial service for her if anybody wanted to go over to uh, Vanessa's and uh, check that out that is perfectly fine she said she was going to do it at 8 o'clock I'm looking in the garbage making sure I didn't throw my live art away or whatever it was something art because i don't see it the garbage can is new I, I just put a new liner in it so it's clean i didn't have any very much junky in it yet so i've lost my art dang damn it okay so I'm going to put a little bit of uh, paint down here and here and um, that's one shade I'll use and I'll get my paintbrush here and and uh, blend it in with this, the background like that. And, uh, but wait, there's more. It looks really, it looks really bad, doesn't it? But just you wait and see. Mm -hmm. Just you wait and see. Back on it, I don't see it. I'm going to use this blue. A little bit of blue there, a little bit of blue there, get a brush, thank you butter roll, Okay, let's see, what other shades can we put up there? A little purple, I got this blue. Did 
still not giving up for my word. I need some kind of a like a big sunshine or something to wake up the morning. Or I could put some clouds. How about if I put some clouds up there? That would be good. Um, Melissa, um, you can uh, pick a number out, and as soon as I get done with these clouds and these these things, I can we'll do the 365 book for you. Okay, pick me out a page number, Melissa. So I'm going to make a few clouds with soupy paint. Soupy paint is right. That that's a royal blue sky. Try to make some of them clouds Joe showed us. He showed us some clouds. That looks pretty good. What's it called? Oh, fine art. Did you find it? Did you see it? Somebody go back and look to see if they can find it for me. I'm sure I, I'm, I dropped it in my lap. Heck, nab it. I'm, I'm sure it's here. Maybe you might have saw where it dropped. Maybe you didn't because it probably dropped off the table. So let me get some uh, uh, some bee action going on here. And uh, we'll see what we can do here with this little guy. Fine art. It was fine art. It was. It was fine art. Thank you. It's it's uh it's working.
Okay. There he is. He looks good. That was easy. Fine art. I think so too, Cheryl. I'm gonna give it one one more look. See. We'll find another word. Had my heart set on it. Thank God. That's all right. We'll survive. Oh, I found it. <laughs> I found it. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't you just love it when things just come together for you? Thank you, Cheryl, for encouraging me to go back down. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to have to go with this little foxy because um, I'm going to do a 365. So let me glue this guy down. He's not wood. He's more cardboard than wood. And uh, he's lightweight, this little bumblebee. So uh, the glue should work. So he's flying in from the south. And then we got this little guy here. And he's going to go, he's going to come over here and join the club. And I'm going to get a marker, another marker, and do a little bit of mark making here around the bowl. Like that. So that's my bowl. That looks pretty good. And then uh, dab it off a little bit. And there's our page. I've got royal. Oh, I got to do some doodling yet. So hang on. We can doodle. Let me find the lid of this. We can doodle. We're going to doodle a little bit on the on the uh, the lemon and put some spots on our lemon. Shows the texture of the lemon, and we can also do the same thing with the orange. You know how it has indentions. And then I'm going to do a little bit of of uh, petal work around this flower. Doodle around on it a little bit. Like that. And... little bit of doodle there and a little bit of doodle, doodle down here on the foxy can you see it down here and just a little bit on these flowers maybe outline the fox just a little bit so you can see his tail Oh, we have to do a little bit of sewing. Okay. 
We can sew. We doodled. We can doodle. We doodled. Now, let's see. For sewing, let's see what I got over here. If I got anything in the thread department over here. I got some blue thread. And we'll sew around the, and we'll put the fine art, art on there real quick. So we don't lose it. Mm -hmm. You know how that is. Here's our fine art. All right. This has been a fun page. Look at that. Got a needle. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'm going to. I'm sure that some of you all know this, but I'm going to demonstrate it anyway. But I'm going to sew up one side of my page. And before I do, sometimes it's easier if you go ahead and poke your holes in advance. So I've got my, my little awl here. And this is mixed media paper. So this way I don't have to push so hard on the needle and stress my needle out. And I'm just going to poke some holes here with this little pokey tool. And it's not real hard. And that way when I sew, I don't have to worry about poking and sewing with the thread and, and fighting everything. So this will work out just fine. And then I think I'm going to go right up here to the corner and poke a hole there. And one over there. And maybe if I can do this corner, I might be able to uh, make a bow or something in the corner. So I'm going to start. I guess I'll start up there. Huh? Do I want to start up here? So I can have an end. Something like that. And we'll go we'll go down down the page. And if we have enough, we'll go back up the page so we can tie it off in the corner. And have a pretty picture. Doing a little bit of sewing. I think I'll have enough thread to do so. And this is a variegated blue, of course, to go with our page. We are so color coordinated. So there, I got to the bottom one. Now I'm just going to go right back up. Lickety split. Just do a little lace, kind of lacing up a boot or something. And this is going super fast. And then Melissa, did she give us a number? Did she give us a number? Well, there's the end. Come on. Looks good. Well, thanks. Well, hi. GT Jr. grows at Alaska. Welcome, honey. Welcome. How you doing? How cold is it up there in your neck of the woods? How cold is it? So we did a little, little prompt page. And it's mixed media. Totally, total mixed media. And I tied a bow. And I fix it to where my bow will not come undone and then i can give it just a tiny little trim and there's our sewing 
and there's our prompt page. We'd like to do mixed media. So, uh, what's your what's your name? GT Junior. And uh, so there's my there's my uh, page. So we've got uh, we've got breakfast. We've got a fox. We've got a bee. We've got royal. Uh, well, that's the royal royal na royal bee. A royal royal jelly. Uh, let's see. What was the other one? A sewing and doodling. So there's our PPs. That's our prompt and prompts. It is. It's a great page. And I've got the date right here somewhere. Just having so much fun. Need to be able to get a little bit more ink on that. Page 274. Thank you. Put the date on that and we are done. Take a picture and we can put this to the side. Okay. Hi, Mitzi. Did. <laughs> Look what we did. <clears throat> we have been having so much fun. Uh, I think Sharon left me. I didn't see her. 274. 272, 273, and 274. Oh boy. We've got just a few minutes to do this. 274. It says, add color to the design. Add color to the design. So you can use your pencils. You can use your paint. You can use your markers. You can use your felt tip pens. You can color this any way you want. And it, they're ferns. They're ferns. So I'm going to start off with some greens. And uh, color. I'm coloring it as fast as I can. I may not get all of it done. But I'm going to get this one leaf. This one. Uh, this one one. I'll do this one. And it's okay if you run out of time. Uh, I can finish this tomorrow. There wouldn't be there was, would be absolutely no right or wrong in doing that. And if some of y'all don't get to your page, and if you don't have the book, you do this in your notebook, in your art book. Draw you some leaves or ferns like this. Simple, simple. They've got stems, and then they just have the leaves. But my goal is to do a few layers. You can use chalk. You can use pastel crayons, oil pastels, watercolor. What other col other products do you might have in your possession?
what other colors or what other products could you use? Crayon super tips. Yeah, super tips would be good. Sharpies. <laughs> Angela, you're right. I'm fast. The more, the more, the merrier. The more I can get done, the merrier I'll be. Um, there's nothing, there's nothing more that bothers me more when I run out of time. One of my favorite, one of my favorite, what is it? Uh, there was something that we did in the book here not too long ago. And it said, we made a list of what makes us happy. And mine, I, I remember putting on an extra hour of crafting. <laughs> an extra hour of crafting would make me happy. But, you know, I stream three times a week and that's quite a bit, you know, for for some of us. And um, and te technically, I sit here any longer. My my back hurts. And. Uh, so it's really hard for me to, to craft any longer than three hours. And three hours is perfectly fine for the amount of stuff that we got to do tonight. Oh, my heavens. We got to do this Easter this Easter project. We did the uh, we did the prayer journal. I've started a an owl. I started my owl. Uh, it's on the green book. Uh, so I've got I've got to finish this guy up tomorrow, and this. So I've got homework, and I I'm off tomorrow. So so uh, and I'm off on Monday and Tuesday. So I could very, you know, Tuesday morning, I could, I could get in here and maybe do a little bit of homework. If not, if I don't get to it, I'll finish it up Tuesday. And there's nothing wrong with continuing a project uh, into more than one day. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And uh, it's just like the angel book. You know, we, uh, we've been working in it one, one every day. I, you know, I try to do an angel every night till we finished the book and now we're doing the 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 owl it took me one day just to make the book you know so it's 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 all in the process it's just part of the process so anyway there's some green and now for the for something else And uh, and then I had Sharon with me, you know, and she got to share. She got to share some things. And then there was Joe. He come in here and he shared some things. So here's another green. That's three. This looks like a spring fern coming out in the spring, nice and green and fresh. That looks pretty daggone good. I like it. <laughs> What's it need? Should I do another green or a blue? What should I do? I 
I like blending. I love to blend. Can you tell? Marty, 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 <laughs> Marty, guess what? Marty, guess what? <laughs> Marty, did you know that you won a prize today? You did. You won. <laughs> you you left. You just left. And, uh, yeah, you get a prize tonight. And um, and Donna, Donna gets one, too. Yeah. I was doing a few little giveaways. Okay. I've been doing them all month. And I'm getting down to Slim Pickets. And it's just an envelope. It's not anything real heavy or anything. But it's got a few things in there. It'll, it'll probably take a couple stamps. and uh, But there's some coloring pages in there and some painting things. And then there's a, a pretty pen. you got a brooch in there. from uh, Got some gifts from, from uh, Sharon Lumbar and uh, Margaret uh, Lovinger and me, all three of us. And... Um, and you won why when you left and uh so uh I, I i made it up for you so just a little something thank you for being part of uh just being a part of my life and this is my five-year anniversary this month so i've been celebrating all month you're welcome honey been celebrating all month and uh so I will probably, I probably need to go ahead and see, this is the 23rd. Oh, man, am I going to make it to the end of the month? I've got two more prizes I can give away. Let's see. I think tonight might be the last night of doing it because I don't know if I, I don't have three more for next week. But I can come up with some happy mail for next week. So maybe I'll go ahead and make it, do it anyway. It'll just be happy mail. But I, earlier this month, I gave away some nice prizes. We've given away uh, marker sets, notebooks. Oh, I know. I do have some more prizes to give away for next week. So, yes. Yes, we will definitely do prizes next week, too. I just remembered. So, uh, but we've, we've been giving away all kinds of nice, nice things. Uh, Sharon Lumbar and and uh, Margaret Levinger, she they have given graciously have donated items to me uh, over the years and and uh, recently and uh, and I've been using some of their gifts uh, that they've donated to me as some of the prizes. So uh, that way uh, it makes it fun. It makes it lots of fun. So anyway, I'm going to finish this leaf. And we'll do one more layer. wonder what I should do. Another layer. And I've got another green. I've got this uh, blue. Another blue. No, I don't want that one. Let's try this one. Oh, I bet I know which one I want to get. There is a, a kind of a a gold one. That one is that the olive gold? Let's see if that works. So anyway, I just uh. 
uh, I really, 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 you know, uh, love all of you all. And um, streaming is a big part of my life. I don't know what I would be doing if I didn't stream, didn't have y'all to stream for. And you've encouraged me to share my art, share my talents. And uh, and I, I guess I had all my talents under a bushel. I didn't, I didn't uh, have them uh, out shining. And this way I get to shine my art uh, among you all. And... Uh, as goofy as I am, it, it, it's just the way it is, and it's fun, and 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 uh, it's it's good, clean fun, and it's talent, and some of it's better than others, and that's okay. It didn't always have to be perfect, and uh, I love I love doing all this kind of stuff, and I can't seem to get enough of it. So, you know. Streaming three times a week is a good thing. I could I could have easily started out streaming every single day when I first started doing it. I couldn't wait to get up in the morning and do it because I started out streaming like at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. And then uh, I decided that nighttime would probably be a better fit. And I started streaming at night. And uh, and I tell you, those the videos that I did five years ago they're just as good as they are today i think i've grown i've grown up in my art i've done a little bit better in my art and uh but it's the same old me <laughs> i'm still the same so i don't know about you but that is that is cool that is blended I like blending. And all I did was use what? One, two, three, four, five. I used five different pencils. Look at that. And, and I can get me a paintbrush, and I bet you it activates it, because these are what ink tense pencils. There you go. I'm telling you, that is just absolutely mouth-watering to me. That is so yummy. Can you tell the difference between this and this? Look at the difference. Ink tense pencils are your friends, guys. If you get to buy any kind of an art product this summer, if you get to splurge one time and buy you something, get you some ink tense pencils. They'll last you a long time. Because I don't use, I use so much other stuff. I use everything. You know, I. it's not like it's, and I don't color a coloring page very often either now if you're a color coloring person then you would use them a little bit faster than i would but since i do so many other things they last me a long time beautiful
Okay, so there is my leaf. Wouldn't it be pretty if I did all different shades? Like did a red and orange one and maybe a blue and purple. <laughs> I'll think about that. But that's all I am going to do tonight, guys. Uh, I think I think we've done enough. We've had a lot of fun. And uh, <laughs> I am glad I met you, Doretha. I, you're, a, you're a blessing in my room i am just so happy to have you and uh all of y'all so uh so it's been a long day for me i've been up i've been up since before noon watching dd Dee Dee and i mean uh, dana and now she comes on again at 12 o'clock in the tomorrow so i'm gonna set my little alarm clock so i don't oversleep and um so there we go there we go Happy with it all. Okay. I can doodle on this bowl. I'm st I can't stop. See, I'm doodling. Just doodling. Okay. All right, guys. Love you. See you later. I'll be back. Uh, I'll hope to see you at Dana's in the morning. And I hope to see you all in the chat room somewhere between now and next Tuesday. So, good night. Good night, everybody.